Texas. Some people are naturally built like this. You know what I mean? Some people are just not as well in doubt. That's just... By a round of applause, would you rather watch a Super Bowl on the sidelines of the Pats or sit in Bill Belichick's house while he watches Gronk on TMZ? I'm going TMZ. My wife and I were driving the other day and a woman cut me off. I wasn't pleased. Switched into our lane, no directional. I was like, nope, not having that. Give her a little high beam flash, letting her know, hey, not exactly stoked with how you're driving. <laughs> then she stopped at a yellow light, which I was going to go through, right? So I was like, all right, I'll just take her on the right. I swerve out, I'm like, you know what? No, time to give a lesson. Stop at the yellow light, and I look over and I go. <laughs> you know, like a man. And she looks back and she goes. And I was like, okay, here we go. And I look over and I go, uh, you gotta use a directional when you're changing lanes. <laughs> like a substitute teacher. <laughs> and she looks back and goes, we just driving, we just driving. <laughs> we just driving. I don't know if that's a complete sentence, but I liked it. It's very zen, very prophetic, you know what I mean? We just driving. But I didn't want to lead on that I did, you know, and she had like a little dog on her lap, so I go, you got a dog on your lap. <laughs> and she looks back and sees my wife and she goes, you got a dog in the passenger seat. <laughs> yeah, didn't see that coming. <laughs> now, I liked We Just Driving. I loved dog in the passenger seat. <laughs> From a civilian, are you kidding me? I remember looking over like, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. <laughs> But I still gotta look over at my wife and see how she's doing. I look over, she didn't even care. She looked at me like, yeah, yeah, say something back. Go ahead. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got this. And I look over at her and she's like, and the dog's like, mm. I'm like, I don't think I got anything for these two. And I just grabbed the little lever next to the seat and I was like, if you got something, go for it. Cause I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait for green and then we're out. You know what I mean? She was a black woman. Black women have such confidence. You know what I mean? They say whatever they want. I was getting on an airplane and there was, I had a black stewardess and I go, hey, how are you? And she goes, I'm just hoping I win the lottery so I can quit this job, honey. How you doing? <laughs> and I was like, amazing now. Amazing now. <laughs> black women know themselves. You know what I mean? They just know who they are. A few years back, I'm at the Home Depot buying wood day before Father's Day. Black woman goes, have a happy Father's Day. And I go, oh, no, I don't, I don't have any kids. And she goes, yeah, I know, but you and your dad. I go, oh, no, my dad left when I was two. And she goes, and you'll be a better man for it. I was like, what? You can't say that to somebody. But coming from her, it was like she hugged my soul. 27 years of therapy wrapped up in one interaction at the Home Depot. It's a beautiful thing. If that was a white woman, I'd be like, you have no idea what I've been through. I don't think anyone knows themselves. Who knows themselves? You don't even know who you are just walking through life. What's your favorite way to drink water? In a glass. In a glass. Look at this guy. No clue. <laughs> you know what mine is? Out of a garden hose. What? Am I stealing? Kinda. Yeah, let it run a little bit. Let it cool down because it's coming underground. People just walking through life. They don't know. What's your favorite way to get from one floor to another? Jump. Jumping? Are you Superman? You jump flights? Nah, I got it. And then you just land? <laughs> no one's ever said that to me, by the way. Just, just so you know. <laughs> Jumping. You wanna take the elevator? Nah, I'm good. What's your favorite way to get from one floor to another? Uh, stairs. Stairs. Basic. <laughs> Mine's a spiral staircase. What? You're like, who's up here? Is there a princess? What is this? Why are we doing this? Are there jewels up here? 
coming down sucks. You're like, that's too quick, that's too quick. Where's the railing? There's never a railing. It's like it's over here going down. <sighs> Gotta know who you are. Sometimes you, there are little checks you don't even know. You're like, oh, that's who I am? I met an Asian guy with a British accent. <laughs> Try not to react to that. Go for it. Yeah. I was like, hey, man. He's like, oh, hello. I was like, okay. All right. Yeah. Of course. Why wouldn't? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm Jay. Good to meet you. <sighs> That's when you find out. You're like, oh, you're that guy. Here's an idea. This is how you can break people down. How many people who have ever sat in an exit row read the actual form they're supposed to read? Some people. Who doesn't read it? Of course you don't. I would just jump. But what, what's your qualification? You don't need to read it. You wear plaid? What are you going to do, guy? We're crashing. You're like, nah, I got it. What do you think? I read it the other day, and it said, open the latch, grab the rope, and tie it to the hook on the wing to make a, 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 a railing for everyone else. I was like, are they out of their fuck? What? I'm in the seat for leg room. All of a sudden, I'm building a handrail. I saw Sully. I didn't see anyone putting a rope, rope railing down. I don't know. Just hold on a sec, guys. I'm going to tie down this rope and make sure you're all okay. No, I'm good. Got to know who you are. I recently found something out about myself I never knew. I get embarrassed when I go to a public restroom and I go to try the door and it's locked because I just think the person inside's like, this guy needs the shit so bad. He's gonna jiggle the door. And I'm just like, no, I'm trying. Cause you gotta wait outside the door for them to come out. And they're like, oh yeah, it's free. And you're like, I just didn't know you were in there, man. <laughs> Showtime was gonna do a bio movie about Gronk and I got the part to play him. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. <sighs> Recently, I went to a restaurant for happy hour. And I was, I'm like, I'll take advantage of this. And I end up getting food poisoning <laughs> when I got home. And I called the restaurant. I'm like, hey, I just want to let you know I got food poisoning in case anyone else ate what I ate. And they go, oh, what'd you have? And I go, I had those ahi tuna tacos. And the guy goes like, all right. And I go, and then I had those meatball sliders that you had. The guy goes, all right. And I go, and I had the tuna tartar, the, the little tuna tartar tower. And the guy goes, okay, yep. And I go, and I had that gorgonzola flatbread. You remember the gorgonzola? The guy goes, okay. And I go, and then I had those uh, custard donuts, the little custard donuts at the end. And the guy goes, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, who else was eating with you? And I was like, oh, no, it was, it was just me. And he was like, oh. And I was like, yeah, I think it was the tuna tacos maybe that got me. Knowing that he's on the other line, like, you don't think it's that you're a fat dump? Sometimes you just find out who you are. There's not much you can do about it. <laughs> My wife found out who I was a couple Christmases ago. We live in Los Angeles. She goes, let's go for a walk on Christmas morning. I go, okay. We get down by the beach and she's stretching, like getting loose. I'm like, what kind of walk are you looking to do? <laughs> and you know, there's not many people out driving. All of a sudden she pulls this stretch out and I was like, okay. Someone's about to get a Christmas gift, and it's that guy driving right there, and I just grabbed her, and I was like, oh, Merry Christmas, man, on the way by. And it took her a minute to be like, what the hell's going on? And then she's like, Jay, what are you doing? And I was like, it's Christmas, I'm just giving gifts. <laughs> this guy is like on his way to his in-laws and just sees some guy like this with his wife. And my wife goes, she's like, what are you doing? And she laughed, but she was like trying to act annoyed. And I'm like, listen, don't get annoyed. You know that's a thing in our house. Like, if in my house, if I walk in the kitchen and she's trying to get something out of a drawer, I'm going to grab her and be like, hey, like just as a joke. And every time she'll go, come on, Jay, cut it out, cut it out. But she'll never move. Because secretly she loves this gag. She thinks it's hilarious. Maybe not in public. I just love the idea that that guy who was driving by to this day, like his buddies are like hanging out with him. He's like, hey, did I ever tell you about on Christmas that guy who was like, they're like, yeah, dude, we heard the story. He's like, I just think it's a good guy with. 
Where'd he go? Stair guy. That's something you'd probably pull. Would you bring a jersey to get signed? Unbelievable. Of course, why don't you just jump to the ceiling and then come on stage? All right, you guys, enjoy the rest of the show. I'm Jay Larson. Thank you so much. All right, guys, uh, we're going to uh, be in and out. Please, Grunk has a busy schedule. Let's keep this to football questions only, all right? Do not deviate from football questions. And remember the golden rule. Do not embarrass yourselves or your publication or me. Jay, get your damn hobbit feet off the podium. Thank you. Let's get this started. Uh, Rob? Ayo. Hey, Ayo. Uh, hey, 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 uh, you, sir, in the front. Ayo. Hey, Bobby Goons from Bada Bang Magazine. Uh, I got a keg and a couple of chicks in my pickup. You want to come and do some high school shit with me? Maybe. Next, please. Ayo. Jay. The wife and I, we've been thinking about maybe a threesome, and I don't know if that's something that you're open to, if, if some, we could you know, start a dialogue. Or... Did you know what a threesome is? Yeah. A threesome is two chicks, one dude. If it's you and I and your wife, that's a double team. Yeah, that's, okay. that's cool. So if you want a double teamer, then that's okay. I'm down with that, maybe. Okay. But she might not want you in it. Yeah, she probably. Once I get going, she's gonna be like, "Ooh, I want Rob's yeah. flowing." Yeah. Th oh. th uh, stick to football questions. Hey, 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 hey Grant. Yeah. Grant, you made the uh, cover of uh, Madden 17. Congratulations. Do you think Do you think it's appropriate for the uh, cover athlete to drop passes on fourth and goal? That's a video game, bro. Get a life. I had a life. All right, my kid beat me. Gronk, he's eight. I pressed triangle, Gronk. Cap. I did. No.